Hey guys, it's me. Um, yeah, there has been a lot of stuff going on recently. So there's that big argument about the skill tree and a lot of players, um, they already announced that they will quit the game. That they won't throw any more money at PGI or that they, I don't know, they are very upset. So will I quit the game? No, why, why would I? Because I believe, I strongly believe that the skill tree system, it won't, it won't be such a big impact as uh, most people are just painting it at the moment. Because you don't need any skills to play MWO. So the basic, the basic game, the basic um, game mechanics, they will, they, they just work outside of that skill tree system or any skill system at all. It, it used to work before, it will work after the new skill tree and I will just continue having fun in the game. It's just that easy. So uh, I'm, I'm the kind of, I would say, casual player, uh, despite having spent a lot of money in, in, in that game. So I wouldn't consider myself as a whale, more like, I don't know, a dolphin or so. Uh, I spent about like 400, maybe 500 euros. It's quite a, quite a high number, but the, the, the biggest complaint that I hear at the moment is, I have achieved so much in this game and I spent so much money in that game and now you're taking it away from me. Actually, I see the other way around. I invested money because I wanted to, to keep the game alive. I wanted to appreciate the work of the developers. And um, yeah, of course, I got something back from that. I, I got uh, Max, I got C builds, I got MCs, I got cosmetic items. A lot of my money went to cosmetic items, actually. And um, it's just a thing that, that I got value out of immediately. It's not that I, I acquired something physical that is now being taken away from me. No, it is the time, the good time that I had in the game that I gladly pay for. And uh, maybe some of you people out there should look at that the same way. I'm not saying that your opinion is wrong. Not at all. Anybody can have its opinion. It's just me just putting out mine now. And um, I followed a lot of the discussion on Reddit, which is a toxic place to be, actually. It's, it feels like a sub-community within the community. And I re very much believe that uh, not all of you out there are having the same, op same opinion as most of the people on Reddit. So I think Reddit is not displaying the majority of the players' opinions while being the loudest. So... I try to I try to engage those people there. Uh, I try to um, place my opinion there. I would I got downvoted immediately. But you don't know what I don't care about downvoting. I don't go to Reddit because of Reddit fame and getting all the likes and stuff. No, I just want to discuss there. Problem was um, there was no discussion possible or just a little discussion. Uh, everybody has such such a a set a set mindset there. It's just not possible. Therefore, I'm just going to throw out my opinions here. And um, yeah, first of all, again, as I said before, I play it as a casual gamer and um, you don't really need the skill tree or skills at all to, to have fun on the battlefield. I, I already stated it before. You can basically throw yourself some, some trial max in and, and, and have fun. And this is how I play the game. Whenever I, whenever I try something new, I, I buy a new mech and I'm instantly, uh, instantly having fun with that. I'm just fiddling around with some loaders and I was like, okay, yeah, that works. That could work. Let's, let's try it. And I'm trying and trying and trying. And after a few games, I'm getting the hang of it and, and, and it's fine. And whenever I got to unlock a skill, I'm like, wow, yeah, now, now I got a bit of more efficiency out there. But it was fun anyway in the first place. So why, why even bother? So if, honestly, for me, they could just take out the skill tree completely and it would be fine. But yeah, since they decided that on, on that path, we have to adapt to it. It's just change. It's, it's not, again, it's not the, the end of MWO. It's just something new, something different. And uh, I don't know. It's, I, I can't understand the, the, the witch hunt that is going on at the moment. Yeah, I want to call it a witch hunt because honestly, a, a lot of people are rallying other people to actually hate against PGI and I don't like it. I think they are damaging the community with that a lot. And uh, if you want, call me, call me, call me a white knight here or uh, a guy who is, um, I don't know, who is just shining the sun out of his ass. 
But I want to act as the voice of reason here. So um, if you enjoy the game and you want to keep on doing so, just don't, don't participate in that witch hunt. It's just pointless. I think after a few weeks when the system is online, PGI made some experience with that. That's the most important thing. And they tweaked it. Um, then it will be fine. I'm a software developer by myself. And uh, in my company, I am responsible for for uh, evaluating new business models and new new software in itself and if it is reasonable to invest in that. Um, so I'm in a kind of research and development department and I learned the hard way uh, that actual reactions are better than just theoretical feedback. And the best way to test something is just to throw it out and adjust life. Now, we have the problem that PGI is not the best at communicating. We all know that. But if we can just agree on just testing it and waiting for them to make some changes after some reasonable feedback, I think we will have a system that is okay. And, and um, I would say valuable for both of us, the players and the community. Uh, not the community, but the, the company. You know, because PGI is, they, they, they are a company. They, they want to keep the game going and they want to make some money. To do so. I know that the economy has been largely discussed and um, Russ is giving in on that because a lot of people were very loud, which is okay, but you can see it by just throwing out something and getting the reaction back. It just changes. But the reaction itself at the moment, I think it's a bit over the top. So just sit tight and wait. It's just my appeal that I want to throw out here. And again, of course, I will continue playing the game. I will continue having fun in that. And I, I strongly believe that PGI is just uh, having some struggles getting, getting their thoughts out here in a clear and a positive way. And Russ is just being Russ. I know that the whole cheapskates discussion is just, it spiraled out of hand. It, it was just, just let, let's just get over that. He just wanted to make a pun and he failed horribly. It was just beyond, beyond every, every, Every form of, um, of being polite, that was just stupid from him. But that's just Russ. We know that he is that way. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, anyway. Again, people, um, I don't want to convince anybody here. Because, again, everybody has its mindset already. Uh, there will be discussion forever if you just continue just hating on each other but let's just not do that let's just keep on playing let's just keep on having fun that's that's the thing that the game is all about and um that's just my opinion on that maybe you have something else some other opinion just let me know in the comments maybe we can have a reasonable discussion here um but again i will continue having fun and i won't let myself down and i hope to see you on the battlefield everybody goodbye <laughs>